Hi, this is Matt Brodsky. I'm on faculty at Oregon Health and Science University and was a site principal investigator for the coenzyme Q10 in Parkinson's disease study. And this is the PCO Ask the Doctor special edition. So what recent developments have occurred in the coenzyme Q10 study? So the coenzyme Q10 study which was coordinated by the Parkinson's study group and of which we were a site, uh, recently ended and uh, somewhat prematurely. Uh, the study was designed to answer the question of what effect, if any, does coenzyme Q10 have on the progression of Parkinson's disease. Uh, this was a what we refer to as a phase three clinical trial in that it enrolled a good number of patients with early Parkinson's disease to help answer this question. Uh, previous trials have been done with smaller numbers of patients with Parkinson's disease and the results of those trials seem to suggest that there might be some effect of coenzyme Q10 on slowing the rate of progression of Parkinson's disease. The, the, the population of folks that were recruited into this study had relatively mild Parkinson's disease and had been diagnosed relatively recently and were untreated with medications. Um, people were divided into three groups, uh, those that took 1,200 milligrams a day, those that took 2,400 milligrams a day, and then those, that, and those who were on a placebo, like a sugar pill, uh, but matched to look like, like the active treatment. Both the people who were taking the study medication as well as the investigators involved in the study were both blinded as to who was taking what, so it was therefore a double-blind, placebo-controlled study. The study was designed uh, to look at this effect over 18 months. Uh, an analysis was done of the data before the last person in the study got to that 18-month endpoint of the trial, and this interim analysis was done to see if the treatment effect may have been strong enough to be able to answer the question uh, before the entire study was completed. As it turns out, coenzyme Q10 at either dose was no more effective than placebo at changing the rate of progression. In other words, at either dose, coenzyme Q10 did not seem to slow the rate of progression of Parkinson's disease uh, and showed no difference compared to the placebo group. Therefore, the study was terminated before the last person in the trial came to their completion point. We already know from prior studies having been done that coenzyme Q10 does not give any symptomatic benefit to people with Parkinson's disease. In other words, there's no evidence that it helps improve mobility or muscular rigidity or tremor, for example. Um, but the hope was that it might actually have some effect on slowing the rate of progression. And this is based on the effect it has on the mitochondria, which are like the little uh, energy cells that exist uh, within all the cells in our body, including nerve cells in the brain. So the question now is coming up, uh, what advice am I and my colleagues and others giving to people with Parkinson's disease and their family members and caregivers? Because coenzyme Q10 comes from a variety of sources, and because it is not controlled by the Food and Drug Administration, the biological activity and quality of coenzyme Q10 is quite varied. Um, the thinking in that is that even at doses higher than 2,400 milligrams, there would be no further benefit. Uh, and therefore, because of the cost of coenzyme Q10, there isn't evidence to support its use in Parkinson's disease. And therefore, people who are taking coenzyme Q10, it probably does not make sense for them to continue to take it. Now, it's unclear what effect coenzyme Q10 could have on someone who is at risk of developing Parkinson's disease. And it's possible that any intervention that might have a disease-modifying effect may have a more potent effect at people who are in the earlier stage of Parkinson's before they present with signs and symptoms that we use to make a diagnosis today. Unfortunately, we don't have any further information to support whether coenzyme Q10 may have a preventive role in Parkinson's disease. But for people who have symptoms and signs of Parkinson's and have been given a diagnosis of Parkinson's disease, it seems clear that there is no benefit that coenzyme Q10 at that point would provide. And because of the, of the considerable expense, especially at higher doses, probably does not make sense 
to continue taking coenzymes. So thank you for continuing to watch us on our Facebook and YouTube pages, and stay tuned for the next installment of the Parkinson's Center of Oregon and Movement Disorder program coming soon to a laptop near you. <laughs>